Alright, hi guys, but doing and welcome back. Where's not a wife of Val versus opponent, not a wife of Val. E Master who brings well the starters. Pretty much the starters, starters all over. Um surprisingly enough, it looks like Infernape is actually really effective versus this team with U-turn and whatnot. It's actually quite formidable. And of course their option type lotion, always scary. Um I think I'll lead up with Slow King here. Or no, he could. You know, he doesn't have like. It, he had the Session or the Hishuan Samaroth, that would have been annoying, but I think I can kind of keep this guy at a distance. But yeah, look here. Also, battling very early in the morning. So, very happy to see somebody being able to receive my call. Whew! <sighs> So let's see, my opponent's gonna lead off with Infernape. So that's not annoying. Flare Bliss will definitely sting. Maybe not killing, but absolutely hurting. I think Psyche was rather safe. If we're gonna do that, I think um, U turn here is. <laughs> is very desired. Let's see, it sends in Empoleon, which definitely can take this. And then some. Let's see, oh yeah, did nothing. And I really can't do anything versus it either. Question is, Napoleon is annoying, but not impossible to deal with. So I kind of want to send Magnus Zone, but at the same time, with um, Torterra, it could be. Um, Mile annoying for me to deal with. Oh, nice. So, Horn Leech is neutral. Could just Sword Stance, see what he wants to do. This is something same, which works for me. Even though I know Shire and Sunny Time Flotions are very, like, good switch ins. Plus, Ice Beam, do you believe we take those? Not well. The horn leech should definitely sting here. Just so I'm just saying, this is absolutely killing though. <laughs> there is no way. There is no way. Alright, there we go. I'm pulling this out. Hmm. The thing is, the only one I know who can take this is probably Storterra. <sighs> Charizard. Alright. Probably gonna go for that hurricane, but unless he's scarred, there's no way he takes this, right? Air slash! Oh, his scars are right! Whoo! <laughs> <laughs> nicely done! Nicely done! Way worse for me, of course, but nicely done. Had it been hurricane, I would have been done. Right, towards her up. How do I run this? Probably we just do as much damage as possible and then fall. I think that's my plan. Let's go! Ooh! <laughs> no! <laughs> that's bad. <laughs> GG. Alright, hi guys, we're doing and welcome back to another Uber's game versus Andrew. And I'll take it. <laughs> Basically, you know, if I have to pick, I'm I happily battle someone who brings dangerous stuff than not facing with somebody at all. Now, that said, Ogre Pond Fire is actually very formidable versus me, and your Shifu is always awful. Um, and Bloodstone, too. And everyone is, isn't it? A lot of real tough mods here. I'm basically banking my opponent not running like a scarf for here because there are a lot of things here that just um, says nope to me. Like, like real a lot of them. Um, but Magnuson is my man from the get-go and um, hope from there to um, carve our way in basically. Not, not ideal. Hey, nice picture. 
Nice picture, Andrew. So anyway, to my opponent, good luck, have fun, right? And it starts up with Ogre Pawn. And depending on, this could be either great or awful. Since I will outspeed no matter what, I just won't do any necessarily good damage on it. So it's always just going to be a small poking. And we like those. Absolutely nothing. And my options for um, for anything here <laughs> is just bad. Because um, I could either swing Glarog, which goes neutral all the way. Uh, or sending Rex hoping to um, manage the situation. That's going to be a follow up play with a grasp move, which it will ruin me. But if he will do that, hopefully, like, I won't stand for Horde Leech anyway. But I should be able to take that fire move no matter what. Here comes the Ive Kugel. Does sting anyway, though, right? So right here comes the Horn Leech basically, and uh, like this is my switch. And thing is, I don't think I take. I take the Horn Leech, but I won't take the Ivan Kugel. It just won't happen. Would be nice with a proper war type at this moment, but let's see what the Sasil can do. Horn Leech. Yeah, nothing to it. However, <laughs> that's about it. Um, I think an Ivo Kugel, unfortunately, will destroy me. Let's find out. I really don't wanna, right? Oh, hits here. Oh, fuck. Right, not ideal. Not ideal. So I am absolutely losing Sloking here. Now it's not the perfect monster scenario, but basically what is? <laughs> Stop in tantrum. We maybe no 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 that's awful. Damn that's rough. But it does allow us to bring in Sand Slash for a proper earthquake. So that's probably what I want to do. Even with the mods active, that probably makes this worse for me. At least he has no floaters. So let's do this. Hopefully it kills, right? It should. Ogre Pawn is, you know, while good, it's not necessarily all that bulky. So we got this out of the way. I'll happily take it. <laughs> that was bad. That was really bad. And now I think the dog is coming to Okie Dogi. Your Shifu. Alright. Water. Water. It's manageable though, isn't it? Yeah, I'll like if my opponent goes for close combat, like so be it. That would be like real unfortunate for me, but surgeon strike, yeah, nope, <laughs> nope. We take those. My bigger question is, what would be the follow-up play? As there are a lot of monsters here who actually can take this type of damage. Oh, come on! Really? Fuck me. <sighs> the day of DZs.